Welcome to my lunch break and today we're going to very quickly sketch the scene. Hello guys, it's your girl Becky and I am back currently actually on my lunch break and it's really hot in Hong Kong. I am dripping in sweat. So originally today it was supposed to be forecasted to rain and thunderstorm but we have this kind of bright weather instead. So I thought I would take this opportunity and go out for a little sketch because look at all these beautiful boats in the background. So we are sketching this beautiful sea. This is the boats that go from Hong Kong to Macau usually. Uh, currently travel is suspended due to COVID, but usually we can just hop on one of these ferries. It's right in the middle of the city, right next to the central business district. And you're gonna be in Macau in about an hour or two. So I do have not too long of a lunch break because I didn't plan to sketch today which means I need to wolf down my lunch and that also means that I don't have a lot of time to sketch so today even though we're sketching an intricate boat scene we're going to try and be as loose as possible and pick out only the biggest details so the biggest color schemes anything that can elude for it to be a boat this is not meant to be a technical sketch it is not going to be intricate or in detail at all. I'm not gonna spend more than 20 minutes on it, preferably less, and you're welcome to join along with me. Let's talk about this scene a little bit, shall we? So we have the three ferries right here, and then we have these bridges that we're gonna draw in as well. And we're gonna crop it in like this. Actually, this is probably an accurate crop in of what I'm going to sketch in. The ferry station right next to the boats has like a lot of intricate details, and so do the boats actually, but we are going to try and allude to these colors as much as possible with as little strokes as possible. So I know now from the get-go that I wanna capture these bright colors, like these bright red, these bright blue, these bright yellow, a faded orange, and some darks in the background, including this somewhat faded sky. And let's see how we get to do that. We're racing against the clock here, but at the same time, we are able to take our time in order to make a drawing that we are happy with. So I wanted to not go straight into watercolor. I wanted to go with a sketch first. And at this point, I realized that I did not bring my pencil. So we are bringing back our trusty Kaweco pen, which honestly is so small and it's always in my bag. I can kind of always count on it to serve me as I need it to. And that's really the purpose of a pocket pen, right? Like you just want to have it by your side all the time and you know that it's very reliable. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to come up with the outline structure of the boat, fixing it as I go. And then I was deciding if I wanted to draw the boats behind it, but then eventually I realized like I would and I would add a little bit of a perspective element to it, Um, kind of have the boats going smaller as it goes to the back. But at the same time, I'm, I've am i like decided that I would only put details from the front boat and I would just allude to the rest in the back. And even then, I'm just trying to pick out the most identifying features of the boats and not try to color in every single thing. So I just continued on with the structure of the ferry station and the bridges. So they would be the walkway that people would take when they are looking to get onto the ferry. And that's about it. And it's time to move on to watercolors. One of my favorite things to do with watercolor is to draw water. How I do it is I wet the whole water area first and therefore when you splotch in the water you can kind of see that the water can work its way through the clear water, merge itself and when you add other colors it will also bleed a little bit into areas and you can kind of tell or give it a direction on where it should go and I think this is one of the most beautiful things you can do in watercolor. 
perhaps more so with an actual brush rather than a water brush, but for practicality's sake and for a sketch's sake, I would be happy with this one. So I try to use some of that color, take in that dark blue, and I will try to put it in other areas that I see in this picture as well. So looking at the station itself, it's all pretty monochromatic, like it's mostly black and a lot of it is in shadow, it's gray, um, save for the orange layer that is somehow there and also for the bright yellow and blue poles that are in the front. But everything else seems to be a little bit muted in the background. Following the linings on your cheeks Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave that also really pops is the red of the fairy which I'm trying to get quite correct because um, I know other artists also struggle with this but trying to draw red in shadow and red in brights and trying to differentiate that is a little bit of a challenge so here what I ended up doing is getting it towards a brown which is not my favorite thing in the world like I would I would want to have it be muted to maybe a dark red but I don't know how to do that without changing the hue so I will need to really just train my eyes and do a lot more red object sketching because that's just really how you get better is just try to find a subject or something that you want to learn and continue doing that. After I got the base color of the fairy, I am just going to leave it now for a little bit as I proceed with the other areas of the sketch because I will go back and add details to the fairies later. So now I'm just trying to fill in more of the shadows that I see in that fairy station area and it's because I want the bright yellow and the bright blue to really pop later. So I need to make sure that my background is dark enough and now I'm putting down a very generous layer and I'm trying to see if I will need to layer it again later. In the meantime, I'm gonna use that same color to plop in the windows. Using that same tint tends to bring a sort of a harmonization of the whole sketch together because you can see the same color sort of appearing throughout the sketch. Bit by bit, I'm just adding some details to the fairy, trying to draw in the windows or even some shadow areas that I see within the fairy that came from the um, fence that sort of surrounds the fairy and also the shadow part underneath the boat where a lot of it is really just shadow on shadow with um, the shadow of the boat reflecting to the water and then back. As I'm doing that, I'm also trying to make sure that the area below that station is quite dark as well. It's the darkest part of the painting or one of because it is the farthest away from the light. For these highlights, I am mixing white gouache and watercolor and it's just that really and you can really see instantly that the color does pop. So I'm trying to see if I can use some of that yellow elsewhere because I did have it really thick on my water brush but when I discovered I couldn't, that's fine too. And I'm just adding some blue now and see with the white gouache is it desaturates the color a lot but I want it to be quite thick blue. At the same time, after going through and digging through my, my art toolkit and my pan, I'm quite happy with the blue that it turned out. Also because I know that there's going to be a drying ship basically for when this blotches of blue dry and so the color blue will appear more and more, I'm pretty sure.
So I'm just popping in all the remaining areas of the painting, just trying to get a little bit of detail on that bridge, just trying to color it a little bit darker. So using a water brush does make it really hard to apply a color really opaquely because of the dilution that comes from the water brush itself. After some last few strokes and trying to make sure that I have all the details that I want in, which honestly, the bridge is just going to complement whatever is in the foreground since I'm trying to focus on the fairy and that is pretty much achieved. I'd say I'm pretty happy with the sketch at this point and I think it's time to go and eat lunch. Nothing like your smile in the morning Following the linings on your cheeks Cause baby Can we take a little bit of time to see and to admire this? The fact that this view is basically accessible within 30 minutes from everywhere and actually it's just like a 10 minute or less walk from my office is just, oh my goodness. I am in love with the city. Thank you so much for coming along with me again and for keeping me company during my lunch break. It can get pretty lonely sometimes in the office with nobody to share lunch with. But you know, it's always fun to take a little bit of a walk outside and go sketching for a while and have it be with you. Hope you guys have a great week ahead. I've been Becky, you've been awesome, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy sketching, bye!